Welcome. I'm Professor Short. It's nice to meet you. Here's um, Jane Austen. Hello. Oh, her head. Okay, anyway. Um, this is our orientation video for our spring 14-week um, English 1B course. And I just wanted to share a few things with you. So here is our course homepage. And uh, looking first at the important information, um, these are all the ways that we're going to communicate with each other, or that we are able to communicate with each other. So you can read through that. Um, some of you have already posted in the ungraded discussion, getting to know you. So it's ungraded, you don't have to par participate in it, but uh, it's fun to kind of learn about people. Then, uh, we have a librarian from Chafee College embedded in our class. Uh, so if you want to ask her anything about um, research, she is available to you. Um, her name is Shelly Marcus. She's really nice. Um, so you can look at her welcome video and contact her if you would like, or you can post a question for her here. And if you have any questions about an assignment or anything related to our class, feel free to post your question here in the class Q&A. Remember, this discussion can be seen by everyone in the class. So uh, if you have a private issue, please contact me privately. All right, so looking at our syllabus, just click on it here should pop up here. Okay, it's a long one, um, but most of it is um, a list of resources that are available to you through Chafee, so you can kind of glance through that. Um, but do read all of the class information, uh, course description, student learning outcomes. So upon successful completion of this course, which is a C or better, you will be able to demonstrate mastery in evaluating, integrating, and documenting sources, support an argumentative thesis with persuasive evidence and reasoning, and write essays that synthesize information to support analysis or argument. You can read through the course objectives, we have a textbook technically, but it is online and it is free, which is great. Uh, so if you wanna look through it, you can click on that link. Please make sure that you have an active Chafee email account. That's how we'll, uh, well, one of the ways that we'll communicate with each other. Attendance, please make sure that you are attending or rather participating in our class regularly. Uh, so participation includes posting in the discussion, submitting assignments, taking a quiz, posting peer reviews, and so on. So if I see that somebody has not participated in a while, I might email you and see what's happening. <clears throat> so irregular attendance may result in your being dropped for non-attendance. Um, if you have a situation that causes you to miss several days of logging in and participating, please let me know when that situation begins. Uh, if you wait until several days or weeks later to tell me, oh, I couldn't participate because of whatever, um, I may not be able to help you. If you tell me when it's happening, I can help you try to uh, keep up with our work. 
Late work, assignments are due by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. And most of them are available on Canvas until three days after the due date. So a late assignment is one that's turned in after the due date, but before the available until date. So if you turn in something late, you lose 10% of the assignment points per day. Uh, you can read about our essay revision at the end of the semester, that's optional. Treat everyone with respect. Um, you have a disability. Uh, contact disabled services, and you can contact me as well. Um, plagiarism, do not do it. I take it very seriously, and I'm really, really good at picking out students' work that is plagiarized. Um, I don't know if that's something I should be proud of or not, but I'm very good at it, so don't try it. You can read through that. We will have four formal essays, and we'll also have graded discussions, one graded discussion per week. We have some quizzes and homework, not too many. Final exam is due by Wednesday, May 12th, which is the last day of class. Starting on page five, we have several pages of um, important information about resources, um, scholarships, um, the bookstore. I won't go through all of these, but Career Center is always helpful. Disability programs and services, if you think that you, um, let's see. If you think you should be there. Let's see. Owners program. Uh, Panther care program. If you are having a food hardship, there's the Panther pantry. Let's see. And your professors are always glad to help. So I don't have formal office hours, but I'm happy to answer questions or discuss your papers through email or the Canvas inbox or in a Zoom meeting at a time that is convenient for you. So please contact me if you would like. Here are our grading and points. Here's a grade tracker. If you want to fill it in, you can. If not, that's okay. Um, but it shows you the four main outside of class essays. We have five homework assignments, seven quizzes, two in-class essays. Um, you'll get points for first drafts and peer reviews, and then our weekly graded discussion and our final exam. And at the end, we have this wonderful course schedule. And this shows what we're going to be working on each week. So for week one, uh, you can see that what you have due will be the graded discussion at the end of the week and quiz number one. Looking over at the topics, readings, and class activities, uh, we have a couple of topics for this week, the basics of semiotics and consumption in America. These are the texts. Uh, these are all links. They should work. If they don't, let me know. Uh, but there's also a list of these in the modules, which I will look at right now. There's week one readings. So all of these links should work. So please make sure that you read through all of that. We will have two or three mini lectures per week. A lot of the information is from a favorite textbook of mine called Signs of Life in the USA. You don't need to buy that book. 
but I just wanted to let you know that's where a lot of this information is from. So uh, these mini lecture videos are not too long. I think the longest is maybe 16 minutes. So you can watch that. And as you watch that, you can fill in uh, this notes worksheet. You do not need to turn this in, but this is a really good study aid for you. So the quizzes will be on the information in these worksheets. And this information will also come back in the final exam. Here's our second mini lecture, which kind of goes along with this reading, which is linked there. Here is our week one graded discussion on conducting a semiotic analysis. Um, I was lazy and just took pictures of these four pages for you to read. Uh, everything else is in a PDF, I believe. Um, so you can read through this and then scroll down and the discussion information is here. And you have a brief quiz. It's only five questions. It's only five points. Uh, you can use your notes. So it's just a way for me to make sure that you're kind of keeping up with us and understanding what we're talking about. All right. Um, also, The announcements are supposed to be on the homepage. I will work on that. Um, they should be at the top of that homepage, but each week I will post an announcement that kind of gives an overview of what we'll be talking about. And let me know if you have any questions at all. And I think that's about everything. Everything for a given week will be posted on Canvas by that Sunday, hopefully by that's the Saturday before. Um, so everything will be there for you. So you can go through it at your leisure. Um, we don't have any synchronous meetings or anything like that. All right, well, I'm glad you're here. Jane Austen is glad you're here. She says reading is fun and I say that too. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.